let me explain a bit to whoever that is not clear why is freezing so freezing is basically you don't touch the lane at all what you want to do is you try to let the minion attack themselves and then what you do in the meantime is you try to zone the enemy away from the minion so that they won't get any gold and experience from the minion that minion dying so that is what freezing is you can freeze near the enemy side you can freeze near your own side whatever but freezing is just that try to zone your enemy from the minion so they don't get any gold and experience so your question is should you always freeze my answer is it depends it always depends if you are playing someone like a roger someone like moskov early game is a bit stronger than the enemy there are two things you can do one thing you can do is you freeze the lane no problem you can always freeze the lane then you zone the enemy then the second thing you can do is you clear the lane you rotate with your team you gank the enemy so but it depends on your team comp your roamer your mage your jungler where they are in the map what is their objective right now then only you decide should you freeze the lane or not even if you are, have an advantage position, right? If you try to freeze the lane, let's say you, you are lacking map awareness, you are lacking map information. When you freeze the lane, you do not know where the enemy jungle is. So what will happen is, you got careless. You got caught by the enemy jungle. Then you just die from the enemy jungle. You know, you get killed, you get ganked. Enemy can always take advantage of that and push your turret. So there are a lot of stuff to consider, whether you want to freeze the lane or not. So in a case, right, let's say you are freezing near your own turret. Some You are freezing somewhere around here. So what will happen is the minion, enemy minions is very close to your own turret. What this allows the enemy to do is they can just gank you from behind. They can just turret dive you, no problem. Because after a while, the minion will just enter the turret. They will be safe after that. So if you are at a disadvantageous position, try not to freeze near your turret or just try not to freeze at all. Depending on where is the enemy. So this, this is a game where I'm using Beatrix against enemy Go laner and the Roma. 1v2 basically. So keep in mind that Beatrix can clear the lane extremely fast. So I'm not worried about clearing. So right now what I'm doing is I'm trying to zone them. I'm trying to hit them. I don't want to clear the lane too fast. I want to zone them. So in let's say if enemy is 2v1, don't try to clear your, your lane too fast. Okay? Okay, this is another tip you, you can try to learn from it. If you are one against two, do not clear your lane too fast. Try to clear it at the same time as them or just slower than them. Why? Because let's say if you clear your lane too fast, what will happen is your minion will get nearer to their turret and because they have two heroes over there, they can zone you like crazy and you can't even get any minions right after that. They will freeze the lane like crazy Then there's nothing you can do. So if you are one against two, try to not clear your lane too fast. See, right now what I'm doing is I let the enemy, like if I go back here, I I can, I have a lot of choices over here. So why do I not clear the lane? Like instead of hitting the minions over here, I'm trying to hit them, hit the heroes. Trying to hit the he heroes, not the minions. Okay, last hit for sure, but I'm not trying to clear the lane because I know that if I clear the lane too fast, they can just zone me. So I'm trying to avoid that. This is why I'm not trying to hit the minions or anything. So now only I get a minion. Last hit. Okay. Another thing I can add on top of this is... Okay, over here, over here. This gameplay did not show it, but I can sort of tell you from experience. So if you are playing against a stronger marksman that can freeze the lane or just zone you or you are playing against two enemy heroes you try not to hit the minion at all don't hit the minion first always let your hit enemy hit the minion first because what that what will happen is when they hit the minion first means that their minions hp will be lower so you clear faster than yours so i will do a bad example for you right now so what i'll do is i'll be the first one to hit the minion so let's say, oh, minion, minion come, you are very happy, you try to clear the lane. I hit it once. Okay, then, then let, let's just see what happens. I'm not doing anything. I'm not doing anything anymore. I'm just waiting for the lane to clear itself. 
So you see your lane is already winning. By hitting your the enemy minions once, right? Your minions are already winning by a lot. So enemy can just zone you out of it and you can't even clear the lane. Because your minion is stronger right now. Then they will just snowball from here. Look at this. Now the minions can't even come out. They will come out nearer to their side, not your side. So enemy will have like two people zoning you, you can't even get near your minions. Then you are basically dead. You don't have any gold, you don't have any income. So yeah, this is what I meant.